I always thought there are two types of people in this world. Those who can count and those are fuck, I fucked it up. Damn it. Uh-huh. Ah. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And then that is a Jordan. And that is a Pedro. And together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, help us form. Cocaine Voltron. Still no red nose for 2022, baby. But he's got over his hangover. I'm just telling you, man. He's got those, those canes are out in force. <laughs> That's right, YouTube. Suck it. It's cocaine's. Um, we're all here in one piece, and uh, the, the the odometers ticked one time. Here's here's something that made me have a thing. It was like children that were born today. Some of them will be alive in the year 3000. Because we're getting uploaded to the cloud? Is that a, the, the singularity? No, because maths and longevity, but I like your idea better. It works out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that that's like 900 and something years, but okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no expanse spoilers. God damn it. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Oh man, uh, um, no, but um, off on the side. Uh, what have we been up to? Uh, here's something that we have been up to. Maybe you watched Monday. We finished trying. That was a Patreon goal that we set a long time ago. Like, it felt like it would never end. Every time we clear a level, there's just like, and there's one more. And and it, it keeps, oh more. no, the page turned over. There's more levels now. <laughs> one of the things um, that like really held us up with trying. It wasn't so much after we got playing trying, we were fine. It was the 30 minutes to an hour, every single time of this new unique bullshit being thrown in our way and something would mess up. Something would break. We got everything synced up and we finished trying in the most LGC way possible. We just played three fucking hours straight. Bullshitting a couple yeah. of <laughs> yeah, three hours stretch. I, I, I'm still tickled that the end file size was like 666 gigs. That's like it was. That, that, that's some, that's some free <laughs> that, motion. That's how you know it. We screenshotted it like right after that. And yeah, that's 666 gigs for three hours of trying. If you're wondering, man, but we did it, and we're done until they release Trine Five. Now, something I'm doing on. Uh, Fridays is get good with grandpas. We're learning how to play Trackmania 2 Stadium. It's currently on sale. If you want to grab it, it's like three bucks, something like that. But we got a custom server set up. So we're going in. And on Tuesdays, I'm loading new maps. We practice the maps in time attack mode until Friday. Then we switch over to rounds and we do a points match and then see who with it. Yeah, there's points. Some people care if they win. Some people don't. If you're prepared to um, simultaneously cheer on someone while giving them shit it's probably the thing for you very accessible game it's fun i've definitely seen progression and people who are playing going from not being able to get around a lap not being able to complete a single track all the way up to uh like coming in first place so it's a fun time i invite anybody um if you're twitch sub or if you're patron you can come hop in we got 10 spots for a little server and uh, we'll be streaming that live on twitch but that just pales in comparison to the power that is Roblox. Yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not much of a Roblox player, but there are people in the house who are. Um, and I finally got Ars to uh, set it up on uh, their computers. Uh, I set them up uh, via Lutris because uh, originally there was a wine uh, package. Now there's a third party utility called Grape Juice that I also installed via Lutris. You can't launch it, launch it from Lutris. Just the heads up there. Uh, it installs it globally um, or in the user directory anyways. Uh, but yeah, it works. The game seemed to work. And now I can let my girlfriend and her kid quietly game in the corner upstairs. And I have the house to myself. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm also I'm also very very glad I didn't risk COVID to uh, watch the uh, the Matrix in theaters. We 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 talked a bit about that in the the pre pre super shows, and I gave my uh, my two cents on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, definitely not worth the trip to the theater. That's all I'll say. All right, Pedro, hold up something Fair. to the camera that the audio people can't see. Yes, no, it's time for show and tell. It's been a while, but uh, old laptop. Yay! That's a chunk <laughs> of Is that a business PC? 
unlockable. Uh, no. <laughs> this is uh, like a 2007 netbook. The original, well, not the no, original, not. original. I got an original. One, That's not one. Yeah. The uh, original, original was white and it was the 700. This is a 701. This one only has uh, oh four God, gigs of internal storage instead of two. <laughs> that was the big difference between this one and the original. But yeah, it is. It still has the original Xandros on it. Uh, and I put a class four 16 gigabyte SD card to install Debian 11 to see, okay, does it run modern operating system? It does. It takes a while to boot because a class four SD card, but it works. This is going to be my first question, Pedro Mateus. I mean, are you even going to regale us with an attempt at a tale to say that things remotely useful for anything other than just putting next to your other laptops? I can tell you that the Celeron M 900 megahertz processor that's in here is actually faster in single threaded performance than any Atom um, that any of the no, other but that doesn't asked, run Pedro, Neverwinter Nights. Not what I asked. <laughs> that's, that's what we need it to know. It doesn't run Neverwinter Nights uh, because uh, OpenGL is limited. <laughs> OpenGL is limited to 1.4. I was hoping at least for 2.1 so that I could play um, the robot uh, from the FTL people. Oh, Into the Breach? Into the Breach, thank you. Because that is a game that actually works very well on old machines, and it's usually like proof of concept. Does it at least do OpenGL 2.1? No! Dang it! <laughs> so what, what 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 do you tend on using this ultra-powerful Celeron for? Yeah, come on, give us... Uh, make something up. To poke at it right. for a little bit, uh, and uh, it it's going to go yeah. on the shelf with the other ones when I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing we do want to touch on... Um, also, I want to give a shout-out to Linux Nero. Um, he picked up a thing on that wish list uh, a long time ago. It was like six, seven months ago. That little pine cell. Pedro, you got one. Not not a. Yes. I don't have a pine cell, but it's like the... Uh, pine cell, the yeah. soldering iron. Yes. Yeah. I can't believe it's not pine cell. <laughs> something that I can bring in here where I don't have to like log a soldering station or pull this entire mic arm out because I wanted to resolder uh, the XLR connector on this. And thanks. That saved me a lot of time. I just remember that I had that a couple of days ago when I was getting ready to pull this arm <laughs> off because, you know, I put the cable inside of it and like, oh no, I got to like take the whole <laughs> thing off. And it's like, no, I don't. I have that. And uh, chop, chop. Here's the thing. Uh, we got it. We're going to touch on it. We're not going to do a big long thing. Uh, if you want that, go listen to the pre pre super shows. And but uh, Linus, not that one, the squeaky one, <laughs> him and his cohort have released the final, the end of the return Linux of the king journey. <laughs> and we might have some thoughts. I'm just going to say, here's what hit me. I'll start off real quick. So we got to the end of the video. They were saying they're like, dun, 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 dun. and I, it seems like the entire thing was framed wrong um, to me anyway. What I mean is the, the sell of Linux from like the whole take of the video series was, should you switch over to Linux for gaming? Fuck no, you shouldn't. No one ever said that. That's never been on the table at any point. And if they have, it's nice to pretend sometimes, I guess I, the, the conceit of that, of like, no, no, no one ever said switch over to Linux to go play your games. No. If you're running Linux, you can play games now. It's awesome. Valve's like, Hey, you know what? This Linux thing, we got to run. We're going to put some games on there and they work for the most part. But this, this all hinges on the aspect that you run Linux. You know what you're doing. Maybe you buy a steam deck. I don't know. Well, uh, let's, uh, another couple of months for that. Jordan, you have a couple of thoughts on this, probably something about fragmentation. You didn't, you, you need to defrag the video. I need to defragment <laughs> my solid state drive. You guys No, like, uh, they, 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 they bring up, they bring up to, uh, the two, uh, excuses of, um, Oh, well, uh, Linux users are represent 0.01% of profits and generate 30% of all bug reports. Because goddamn, my software runs like poop on Linux, apparently. And this is Linux's fault because I never took the time to actually like properly port my software. And the the other one is fragmentation, which, you know what? 
These days, not so much of an issue. We have fairly stable ABIs for a lot of for a lot of the core system libraries. We have stuff like Flatpak. We have stuff like the Steam Runtime. We have stuff like Pressure Vessel. Uh, hell, you can do it with CH roots if you want. If you want to do the Gablo Gabo OS approach, you can absolutely do the Gabo OS approach, and it'll it'll fucking work. Um, I don't, I don't know. My big problem with all of this is it ended with nothing. It, 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 it was it was a non-statement. No no real conclusions were drawn beyond Linux is a thing. It can play video games. Well, you I, knew I this already the, going into it, but the now real you know conclusion for this thoughts. video was like, hey, we drug this out long enough. Thanks for the clicks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep. it, it's like kudos because you've managed to end this entire series uh, on a conclusion that would have taken most people 20 minutes to reach by typing uh, is Linux gaming a thing uh, into Google. Yeah. So kudos, you milk that cow and you got a lot of money out of it and you're building a new place. It looks awesome. Good job. Good luck. It is this wonderful. series. The, so if you're asking the, yourself absolutely the question. nothing to change my opinion of the Linus Media Group and the type of videos that they make. You have that Because opinion. they're still a, making the same type of video. <laughs> very anti-Canadian of you, but that's par for the course. Uh, <laughs> I know, it takes personal offense. If you're a, if you're a Linux user and you want to play some games, hey, it's a great time. Uh, things are in really good shape. If you are a Windows user thinking about nuking and paving your Windows partition to go play video games on Linux, fuck around and find out. But... <laughs> don't yes. don't don't complain <laughs> is all i'm saying man uh like our horse who's never had an issue with running his video games on linux our horse has never had any issues running period because it's been dead for 10 fucking years it's the steam linux, linux. update of the week. Nay. It's the end. Well, it's the beginning, but we, you know, we go into a new year. So the first thing we do is do a 180 and look at everything that's already happened. And uh, if you live through 2021, I'm not sorry. It's not my fault. For once, it's not my fault. But uh, hey, maybe you played some games on Steam and Valve wants to, you know, give people a bit of a list to go look at because it's that time of the year where you do all your listicles and your, your best ofs and whatnot. So there you go. The best of steam. And I looked through looking for the native Linux ones and you have skull and Wildermyth, which we threw chairs at both. And Wildermyth is actually a very good game. If you like the, like, uh, turn-based uh, x commy type, but more fantasy. Uh, build your own, create your own story. It is very randomly generated. The thing there. Yes, <laughs> that, that, that was the other cool thing. Where like you can like game over, and the game still continues. Yep, the game continues. You just create new characters, or just have the game auto create them for you, and y yep. you can continue in the exact same world. And um, those were the two that came out of early access and actually released in 2021. Uh, there's oh. also the other one, the big one, the t big 2021 game that everyone is playing on Linux except for me because it's still in early access. But uh, Valheim, no, no, it, the, not the gonna big blade point, right? I didn't know about this. <laughs> this look. This looks pretty sick. You get to play as like Bruce Lee and shit. Yeah. Hot Actually, damn. I, I here. Here's the interesting thing about this game is, um, it's open sexual uh, content. It's an MMO open world, but you're a PVE, but there's no casting. But you got to kick each other's ass. Yeah. It's just open world. It's probably game. got some weird anti cheat that doesn't work on Linux. But and weird anti boobies <laughs> that uh, don't work on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, the the other, uh, there's Valheim right there. Uh, yeah, then the other, uh, the usual suspects like your CSGOs, GTA your Dodos, your War Thunders. Count. Just because it gets released uh, every Euro year Truck doesn't Sim, mean it's a new Binding game. of Isaac. Those are, you know, the other Linux native games that also made the top of 2021, but they've, yeah, they've been around for a long, long time. So those are eternally popular. Mm. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about this, uh, like for real, uh, it's 2021. So, what was your what game did you spend the most time in during 2021? Uh, uh, actually, for playing me, the Outer it, Worlds, but that's a 2020 game. If it's no, the no, one no, that no, released no, no, in no, 2021, no, not what I asked. Okay, then the Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. How about you? Uh, Spent the most time, like, actually seriously playing would be Baldur's Gate. No, no, no. If I sorted my time play, it would be a dub. 
Um, probably something I left running for a while. <laughs> um, filtering that out. Filtering that out. Uh, I don't. Know, I don't know. MGS Five, Baldur's Gate Three, uh, Divinity: Original mm-hmm. Sin. I played. A, I played a bunch of games this year or in mm. the past year. Yeah. Well, I, I was. I was. I was jumping around through a lot of the like turn-based stuff because like uh, Proton GE made it so that you could actually run like Divinity: Original Sin Two or Baldur's Gate Three, and I had all this stuff to play all of a sudden. So. So I went back and took a look and like, what did I put the most time in? And this year in 2021, it was Horizon Ginger Turbo. Mm. A lot of that admittedly was probably getting some things up and running, but I know I had a solid um, like 40 hour playtime in that, mm. which is a fantastic amount of time for me to play a game. So all right. I'm not going to say it's my top pick, but it's a great. That was 60 hours for me in the Outer Worlds. That's. Yeah, it, it's a it's a very good Fallout game. The best Fallout game that has come out since uh, Black Isle went the way of the Dodo. Hmm. So, <laughs> AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, it's a thing, and yeah. it's going to be on your dick. It is. Well, <laughs> uh, the official Valve one is not there yet, but it will be because Valve have said that, yes, they do plan to enable it system-wide, uh, but uh, you can already get a glimpse of that if you're using Proton GE. Stick around. Uh, the Yes, the right now, the only the unofficial one is there. Get your Proton GEs, and you can get a, a sense of what it will do. But officially, it will also do the same thing that the Proton GE version already does, but without requiring the third-party Proton implementation. And it will be arguably the biggest thing after Proton itself. It will be the biggest game-changer for a system that is power-limited, temperature-dependent, and a portable gaming machine that is on going to be living on battery time for most of the time. Uh, Yeah, you'll just lower the resolution, you lower the stress that's on the APU, you lower the temperature that it's putting out because it's not working quite as hard, and since the screen is pretty small, you still get a very good-looking gaming experience for a lot less power, so longer battery life as well. That's good! Yeah, that, that's, yeah good. that's really <laughs> what's going to be, like, separating it from this and, like, the other handhelds, like the INEO, or yeah. even the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> where you can, like, actually play games with the majority of the graphical features turned on and still maintain a decent level of battery life. I dicked around a little bit with FSR for the Thursday stream. Uh, it was okay. Uh, strength level two is a bit too much for Dexter Deshaun and the game kept crashing. So uh, yeah, uh, don't do that. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so if I had to ask you, cause you are streaming on um, Thursdays, you're doing Cybertruck. Yes. What was the performance Delta? I didn't, I didn't check. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think to check Mango HUD. I fucking turned on the thing and I'm like, okay, good enough. And then, Doop, doop, doop. So, um, I wonder if uh, people's going to be, that's going to be your typical experience. So I cut it on. I think it's working. Maybe. That's yeah. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> especially on such a tiny screen. Once, yeah. it, once it gets in the mainland, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, we're, 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 we're talking about good looking stuff on like a 12 or a 720p or an 800p screen, but like so. seven inch screen. Yes. Yeah, it's it's yeah. tiny. <laughs> but what if I'm playing in VR mode? Well, then you, then you have the, the HTC goggles that you definitely are incompatible with the Steam Deck plugged oh, in there. Man. It's you really need two decks. <laughs> really easy That's to an enable. SLI. Yeah. That's not a problem. The article does cover that. Uh, I was reading through the article, and it seems like the dude, he has a uh, NVIDIA RTX card. And that, that's like a fun comparison to make. That's one one of the reasons I went back and played around with um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Was it was the first game that I had easy access to that had a SFR and... Supposedly RTX options, which it doesn't. You, I can get it to come up with the RTX. You can get it a little messing around with RTX for non-Vulcan titles that support RTX. But you had a problem getting DLSS to work in general, which I don't. Every other game that I have, including Control, easy to get it set up. you got to drop in that little file. Watch my guide on it. Now, FSR does work with Horizon Zero Dawn, but the same issue with RTX as well. In that game... You didn't bring up is the RGB plants, and it looks like absolute dog shit. <laughs> it everything shimmers when you move around, like like that, Vaseline. Oh uh, no, no, that's uh, no, no. Uh, the alpha channel instead of being transparent, uh, it gets some weird RGB f- 
artifacting. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, in, in the future where everything is replaced by machines, the fact that like there isn't RGBs everywhere is the least, is the most science fiction. <laughs> well, that <laughs> that just goes to show you that the AI is smarter than us. Okay. Yeah. Um, Probably. And they want to make a point to uh, want everyone to remember. It's not just team. You can enable uh, FSR with Lutris as well. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah. anything that's using uh, Proton GE or uh, Wen GE. Really nice. Yeah. Now, Speaking of GE, 7.0, RC3, it's out. Not much to report, not really, um, but here it is. Tell me about it, Jordan. Yeah, so uh, Elder Scrolls Online doesn't crash uh, anymore when you uh, fire it up. Uh, neither does Steep, and I didn't know what the hell Steep is, so I looked <laughs> it up. And it apparently is Skeep. It's a it's a skiing game. How, do um, you, how did you Google the word Steep? I all ca- all caps. That that was apparently you what go, did it. You, you go on Steam and you type there first. You, you use yeah, the search Steam, on Steam, Steam first. Steam game. Um, but yeah, uh, so that that that's happening. Uh, they have the latest Dixavix, latest F audio. Um, appar- apparently, a bunch of the Proton Five workaround stuff for um, for uh, Wine Tricks has been removed because it's not needed anymore. So I mean, yeah, it's t- the tiny Windows re- Media stuff. <laughs> But this is uh this is RC three, so I think we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing like a uh, GE seven point proper soon, maybe next week. I don't Pro- know. Probably after we're done recording this very podcast. I downloaded it, I set it up, and I was gonna try it to see if I get my RTX on with Ryzen Zero done. Then I looked at the clock and I had like ten minutes before we started the uh, pre show. Right. I was like, "Well, I better get to work, guys. <laughs> Let me get all this cut on." So yeah, no, the thing. one thing it did for me was it completely removed the RNG from trying to launch Path of Exile, which apparently there's uh, t- like two kinds of people uh, or that have um, two diff- very different experiences with launching Path of Exile on Linux. For most people, you just click play and it works just fine. For a lot of people, you have to click play like three or four times to get it to launch without it crashing. He's going to warm it up. This fixes that. <laughs> it always launches. So very nice. <laughs> I always thought there are two types of people in this world. Those who can count and those are fuck. I fucked it up. Damn it. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Numbers, damn it. baby. Oh, How's that arithmetic working? <laughs> uh, not good. Probably better than super tux cards math though. What is this new game, man? <laughs> Yes, you know you've never heard of Super Tux. No, uh, not not cart. I got, I keep got to remind myself it's not cart. This is not the we, cart we, we talked about. Yeah, we 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 talked we talked about it uh, last week. Uh, while Pedro was gone, Super Tux cart. They got a new release out, and now they got a Steam version. It's in early access. Although, let's be real, this game has been in development longer than seven days to die. Let, let's be because- real. They recorded this fucking trailer at thirty FPS. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sixty <laughs> FPS super tux card. Being generous too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, let, let's be real. It doesn't. It's not going to really distract from the the riffing gameplay here. Um, My eyes can only see it fifty nine point nine five. Man, it's just a blur. <laughs> and TSC, uh, okay, okay. baby. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. If you scroll down to the system requirements, I do got to appreciate that under the Windows system requirements, they do list React OS. Mwah. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> that was <very> um, good. <laughs> um, I really, really, really hope that Valve mails their project head a nice $100 Steam gift card because I'm of the opinion that open source projects should not have to pay to be on Steam. I think uh, I think Valve should be gleefully distributing them because why not? Um, well, you know but- what? I wouldn't mind Valve doing that. Um, one thing I would hedge against is like, hey, we, you can put your game on Steam and all that, but maybe not like full on Steam work integration and everything else. Until you pay the hundred dollars, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valve got to eat. You know, it's like you don't get a community, you don't get uh, uh, you don't company. get card. Yeah, 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 yeah you poor, poor Gabe is that. starving. I'm just saying. <laughs> have, you, have you seen him? He's all skin and nipples. <laughs> He's not going to be able to buy New Zealand if he doesn't get all the extra. Coin. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. wants to buy New Zealand. Clearly. <laughs> But yeah, no, I saw this show up because there's a bot uh, created by one of the uh, Mishra brothers, um, creators of uh, the, Assault the Android legacy Cactus. weapon. Uh, no. <laughs> Three but, of you got uh, that yeah, joke. No, uh, uh, see, yes, yeah, so Magic the Gathering. Uh, but uh, yeah, Siama Mishra actually created the a, a bot that gives you like all of the new releases on Steam, and I follow it. It's like Super Tux is now available on Steam. Excuse mm-hmm. you? Like, oh, oh, the actuals. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Okay. We'll, we'll throw chairs at it when it's no longer in early access. But then, you like, here's the thing, Pedro. It's, not, it, it's never not going to be in early access. All right, perpetual. We, we, with open source projects, we just got to go with the point releases. This is... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, 1.0. Give it, give it the 1.0. Welcome to not, 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 one, not, not, not. What, 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 are, they, what, are, what are they? Uh, what are they on right now? I don't Fuck, know. We, we, we talked about it last week. I don't even. Here's my take on it, though. Um, you know, <laughs> look, here we go. We're Super Tux card man. Uh, before we started the show, we're like, what are we playing in the after show this evening? Super Tux, and we all did the thing. You know, let's. Where do we get it? Which version do we get? Go to the web. Something Steam is really good at it's keeping track yeah, and that, they were on steam open Greenlight. source software you know and you're like oh but steam who would use that let me tell you who uses that <laughs> little projects you might have heard of things like blender <laughs> things like good dough you know if it's good enough for good dough it's good enough for pedro yeah <laughs> but uh the, the the big one was super tux card even went through green light they were accepted through green light remember that mm -hmm. no where french warby <laughs> too many people asked him <laughs> you think our contrary yeah. asses have anything on the french pedro you're wrong oh man so i i, I no, got i got, I got I dragged into one of those i've always lived french here Discord for like four years so i haven't developed the you know inherent hatred for the french <laughs> Man, man, man. I, I got dragged into one of Strider's French Discord channels, and man, the vitriol there. My God. They're very, very, very angry people. Um, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> tell, tell me about Neon Drive. Um, hey, if you want to become a very, very angry person or angry person adjacent, just feed Jordan a copy of this next game. Update yes. number three. Aeon Drive. This is one of those games, man. It's like Celeste. It's like Super Meat Boy. But you got to race against time. You got to get in, into the level with a quickness or uh, you go dead. And I like this game. Pedro and Jordan didn't. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But what's an input buffer, Pa? <laughs> Remember uh, Hand of Fate, the uh, mm. deck building slash uh, Batman fighting game? Oh, you mean the game where that was you so bad would the company hit went out of business? Yeah, they still released two of them, so they did something right. Uh, the uh, the way that the it queued up the inputs is if you hit attack three times, it, your character would always do the three attacks, no matter whatever else you press. So if you were like spamming the dodge button because you saw an attack coming, too late. The inputs already queued up. It's already buffered. Done. So it's it's basically well, punishing of button mashing. Yes, it is. If it is specifically to uh, punish uh, that kind of behavior, and in a game like this, where it is very much time dependent, and it is very much dependent on you type uh, hitting the right button at the right time, that's going to make a big difference. In so, the, like two uh, of the big things meta. in this update: ground <laughs> pound animations. You can cancel those, so it's not going to get you killed to death anymore. And they've added a better wall jump, which I had seen was a little bit of an issue. However, during this update, I did a control F. And I searched for online multiplayer. It didn't exist, which is sad no. because this has got coop. It's got PVP, but it's split screens. And they're like, hey, man, you can use remote play together. I'm like, no, I'd like to enjoy myself when I played this game, <laughs> uh, which is a little sad. It's a fun game. I like it. If you like games like Celeste, uh, it, it it's your jam. I mean, it's really fun. And last time I streamed, the developer showed up and... Gave was, you instructions that weren't in the yeah, game. Yeah, he was telling me stuff that's not in the tutorial, I'm like, which I'm me. So I'm just talking back to them. I was like, why the fuck is this not the tutorial? I was like, well, I thought people discovered that's stupid. Now no, it's you gotta you gotta tell people shit. <laughs> yeah. They're, don't 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 expect people to figure it out. This on their isn't own. the kind of game stuff. that you want to pull that card. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one 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 thing one thing they did fix in this release is if you're a cheaty cheaty cheater and your save slots show that you have all the achievements and all of the uh and all of the unlocks, uh, you're gonna have to earn that all legitimately. It's no longer working. So I guess there's also oh, anything online's probably got cheats, man. Like the one game that has three <laughs> players, one of them has figured out how to game it. This is why we need <laughs> kernel yes. level anti cheat everywhere, especially. DRM, enter your root yep. password to play. Yep. Yep. Need a kernel module, baby. Teleporters, man. Mm -hmm. they, they have a bunch right. of teleporters in Star Wars, right? 
Yeah, no, it's yeah. my favorite part of Battlestar Galactica is when they go through the teleporter. Uh, but yeah, uh, paint the town red. It's a beat em up game. 3D voxel beat em up. We threw chairs at it a while ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a level editor for um, making the user generated content, and they added portals. Like what? You might ask, like that famous game, you know, portals, cakes, GLaDOS, all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, and they're implemented uh, a in such a. Yeah, it was a triumph. <laughs> <laughs> to get Pedro to start singing that song. Uh, but yeah, uh, they behave as you would think they do. Uh, if you shoot into them, bolts come out the other end. Uh, if you throw bodies through them, then the bodies will continue. So it's basically, if you've played a portal game, the portals will work as you expect. It's in the level editor. You can check it out. Also, they have lady pirates now, which is always a bonus. Dude, ragdoll and teleporting. Come on. It's fucking Sparta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, I was kind of nonplussed until I just saw that. I'm like, all right, I might go in and. <laughs> see what's going on. They, they actually did a very good job with the uh, teleportation bit because but, yes even in so, portal there were some objects that they just outright refused to uh go through so so here's the thing if you are looking for a single player split gate campaign this is how you're gonna go about making it <laughs> you know the game was kind of fun we played multiplayer and like, I mean, it, it's just a chaos engine, but I mean, it's, just, they, they do have a teabag to confirm mode, which is yeah, pretty tight. Right. That's I, we really appreciate the sense of humor. I mean, it's not, it lo- uh, you gotta be careful with games like this. Cause on the outside you're like, Oh, that looks like some really cheap, you know, thrown together unity, unity asset flip bullshit. No, no, there's some work went into this. Yes. So, and they have multiple different game modes. I actually ended up playing the like adventure mode. <laughs> That yep. was effectively the dungeon uh, delver mode that the game also offers. If you don't just like the go into a place, kill everyone, fight everything, you can do the other one. Pedro found the <laughs> one that wasn't fun. Yeah, I remember watching that. I'm like, really? All right. <laughs> or maybe people have different ideas of fun. Incorrect, Pedro. Incorrect. <laughs> no, this this as is what it's game cast. <laughs> Ven, Ven, Ven's Lock hyperbole thing. is the only hyperbole allowed, period. Lockstep. End of discussion. Yeah. Or you die. All right, coming up next, we got uh, we got to talk about the new Intel GPU hotness and whether or may it may not. It's coming, may not, you guys. Not, oh, no, it's coming in February. Ah. Why, hello there. It's time for the news. And, you know, usually at the start of this segment, we take a break and we talk about uh, you and the support that you provide to us, which is very much appreciated. Basically, also, that uh, thing you did last the, year. We know what you did. No one was supposed to know about that. But we did. Then you probably <laughs> shouldn't have put it <laughs> well, in your uh, own. It's not in the account. open now, so. <laughs> But yes, no, it is actually uh, really, really amazing just how many of you there are and how many of you join us just live to watch the insanity being, um, that well, mostly that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> but I just want to see how long you can go off. Here, Here's a real question. How long <laughs> is that guitar going to be next to you? Have you have you ever picked it up or are you scared of it? Oh, I've picked it up many times and I've uh, looked at the tutorials on... Uh, the Googs, but yeah, no, Nori is currently going through a purge of most of the stuff uh, that she accumulated during her degree. Okay, but by purge, uh, in it means university? it's being moved out of her section ah. into Pedro's. Yes, it's no, the it's uh, no, 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 no. here because she needs access to things. Uh, so yeah, she a lot of it's She's already in the bin. She's making room for more laptops. The guitar is here for yeah. now. Yeah. 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 So if, if, if you want to help Pedro buy some more storage organization solutions so that he can fit more laptops in his domicile, you, you can head on over to I only have the one. <laughs> I don't know. I just had a dumb thought. I was like, what if you can get a uh, guitar with an NVMe? And I was like, Gibson's probably made one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I, I believe that 100%. Wow. Gibson, Gibson will throw whatever. They'll, they'll throw like a fucking ham sandwich in a guitar if it suits yeah. them, right? Uh, yeah. Um, right, Patreon.com slash. Yeah. yeah. Gibson.com <laughs> slash Linux Gamecast. Buy some LGC guitars. No. Um. LGC uses Gibson because they are the best. Uh, Patreon.com slash this game Become a Patreon. You get a bunch of cool stuff. You get access to our Discord, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. But being a Patreon gets you some other cool stuff as well. Like um, you can get access to your, get your name in the credit. You get your, um, you can get access to the, uh, I'm just, saying, uh, I'm just throwing this out. Is available. Well, 
But how much, how much shit? We're, we we got to play the how much that domain costs. Unfortunately, I, yeah, game. I, I fear it is. Uh, if we have to call that number, we, isn't that going to be in our budget? Yes. Unless no, we can, no, no. <laughs> un, un, unless we're, we're going to set up a Patreon goal for it. If you if you want us to take over hamsandwich.com, <laughs> sub to our Patreon. Uh, you don't even need to worry about the extra custom RSS feeds for the video versions of the pre pre super shows and that extra full on hour of Linux gaming podcast we do. No, do it solely for the sandwich. Uh, we got a store. Our Patreon, go back and listen to that because that's where we had our say not only about the new matrix movie but the last and final forever linus tech tips oh i'm sure that's the last we're ever going to talk about 100 <laughs> percent, never, never gonna happen ever, ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's um, never going to talk about the steam deck or nope. anything no uh-uh. <laughs> all right so store uh store we got we got we got t-shirts uh you know uh nori might be purging all of her old stuff but now is a great time to buy some new clothing some linux gamecast clothing what do they look get, like? like they look like this a microphone butt filter yeah, they look, <laughs> they look like that. Um, well, that's one of the shirts. You can also get one with me right in between your boobies, if that's uh, what you're into. We got we got masks, we got coffee cups, we got stickers. Um, you know, one day I'm going to get some masks back up there. Oh, do we? Wow. All right. Well, one one day. Until then. Uh, don't buy masks from Linux Gamecast <laughs> store. Uh, but once because we have none. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're going to be very disappointed when none show up. Um, we we got we got, if you go to if you go to LinuxGamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. We have we have some wish lists. Maybe you don't want to give us money. Maybe you want to help us out acquire some equipment or some foam swords. Look at that responsive or, design. There it goes. Yeah. It's, it's very mobile optimized. Uh, I have a wish list. Pedro has a wish list. Jill has, Not a, wish according list. To has a wish list. Not according to Google. Well, fuck Google, right? Who who cares what they have to say? <laughs> well, I mean, Google fails its own Google test that it uses to judge everyone else. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, ex- exactly. So, uh, <laughs> no, they, they already it, know it, everything about me. So, when, you know, the robot revolution happens. Hey, at the oh end God, of the day, what we're saying, Android. thank you for your support. We do appreciate it. You let us do what we do. We're able to do it loud, live, and completely commercial free and um, build our little community. We invite you to join as always. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty neat what we've been able to stick together with your help. But that's enough of our shilling because daddy, well, you may be able to shill a little more because daddy wants to buy one of these. Uh, if if they come out, we are talking about the Alchemist, the Intel Arc series lineup to launch oh, with two high-end variants, the DG512 and the 16 GPU to tackle the 3070 Ti and uh, the 3060 Ti. But we got some dates, kind of theoretical dates. I R- Rumors, according to the rumor mill. Rumor dates. What we're looking at is like initially it. it by all intents and purposes, it seemed like Intel really wanted to like have these ready to go at the beginning of Q1, but the new hotness right now in the rumor mill is going to be at, towards the end of Q1, sliding into Q2. And the interesting takeaway, though, is these are going to be designed to tango with a 3060 or possibly a 3070 and 3070 Ti, depending on the variant. We were talking earlier. Peter's worried about price, which understandable. Yes. Most of us are because the prices are fucking ridiculous right now. But in order for Intel to just gobble up market share, all they have to do is put them on shelves. That's it. That That is the only... Just, you don't even have to try Intel. Just get them in stock and people will buy them because it's a That's better... the only option. Yeah. But I mean, especially for <laughs> yeah. NVIDIA... Uh, <laughs> Gamers, uh, content creators, editors, we're no longer NVIDIA's target customer base. NVIDIA's found greener fields. And uh, but yeah, yeah, no pun intended. That's what I'm saying, man. They, they we, we just get the leftovers, you know, we get the swept up shit off the floor until, you know, the whole mining thing dies down if it ever does. So, yeah, this is, this is good to see. I got a lot of hopes, but. Me being me, I don't want to get my hopes I'm too high because uh, there could be a lot of disappointment there. But man, I'm putting some money away just in case. We we were, we were yeah, talking the, about this. Like Intel, Intel has never lied about their numbers before nope. ever. No, they're very, very, very honest. Mm. And, and if it happened, it was only ever the once. Oh, wait, it's been like three times already. What I'm saying is <laughs> Intel can lie all they want. They can do anything. It can just be a sheet of asterisks on the page. 
followed by a link to hamsandwich.com. But <laughs> he, he, here's here's the requirements. Be faster than a 1660. Effectively, yeah. yeah. And be in stock. <laughs> there, there. There's your two winning requirements for a successful launch. That's yeah. it. We can pretend. We can talk over, oh, is it going to be, what's the price performance? For, no. Faster than a 1660 in stock. Done. That's it. Yeah, the 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 MSRP is going to be the big screw here. Like, yeah, they're yeah. They're, they're saying, oh, we're we're, we're targeting the three hundred and fifty dollars price point, but those uh the, those those stores, uh, they'll uh, take that number and they'll go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and they'll add a couple mm-hmm. extra digits to it and slap a new sticker on it. And here's the um, thing, um, it will have a massive advantage over Intel and AMD by being on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, for, for, for now, <laughs> until, until they all get scooped I'm, up. I'm just saying, like, in the theory thing, because if they can turn these yeah. out in mass, and I know we touched on it on the show a couple times, Intel knows how to do volume. Like, volumes that our little monkey brains don't quite put together when you start thinking about the amount of CPUs that they turn out for, like, laptops, desktops, and all the major suppliers, considering they were it 100% yes. effectively for the past decade plus. They're pretty good at that. Now, I understand this is not being... Um, you know, the fab that they're using, but we don't know. This is all speculation. If I can get something that is as fast as a 3060 for the 350 buck promise price tag with 12 gig, I'm just going to buy that at, at this point, about 20% out of spite and uh, the 80% out of like, I need to <laughs> need those 12 gigs. I want that upgrade. What? One thing that's definitely going to be true about the Intel GPU, regardless of what's going to happen, you will be able to run it under your current Linux distribution faster than you would if a new AMD card came out because mm-hmm. Nvidia actually, you know, works on their Open drivers. Source and stack, pu- yeah. Yeah. Pr- publishes yeah. them <laughs> and gives them pretty good feature parity with their Windows counterparts. So yeah. yes, if they can mat, if they can match or they're saying in the uh, WCCF tech, so, you know, major grain of chainsaw on that one. You know uh, what, Pedro, the, it used to be that I'm going to give them credit, man. Cause you can, they, they've, they've cleaned they've their game up. They've cleaned their game Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if they're, they're saying like 9% lower performance than the RTX 3070, if they can reach that for under 400 currency units, $1,200. I'm not even mean? thinking about it. What? What I'm saying is like they uh like what 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 is their target price they got to match under twelve hundred bucks? Uh no, it was four hundred currency units. So no, that's under your, 400 like, but, but, but like, like what, we're not what talking about saying, you. <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what Ben is saying is like yes, but like the uh, the equivalent comp- competitor's card is like. Twelve hundred dollars. So oh, yeah, even the thirty seventy is going like for over over a thousand right? pounds. Yes, yeah. eleven hundred dollars <laughs> with an immediate one hundred dollar off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they release be... it for that, they'll sell it, just not to me. <laughs> well, you know, you know what? Maybe maybe some other folks could use that money instead. Oh man, yes. This is, uh, uh, in fact, there's a lot of folks that uh, would very much like teeny tiny little amount of money. And maybe, just maybe, you're one of those that can afford to give it. Well, then you should uh, get in touch with uh, Ryan C. Gordon, Iculus. And um, yeah, he's doing the micro grants again. Uh, he did it uh, last year, and there's a link on the uh, tweet for what last year looked like. And yeah, he's going to be throwing $250 at projects. Just, okay, you're an open source project. You need a little bit of a contribution. There you go. Just get in touch with him. That's how it goes. And this, besides the money side, it also puts the people in these projects in touch with other projects or uh, in touch with people who can, I don't know, maybe afford to support them in another way. Yeah. That, that's very nice. <laughs> we, we, were, we were talking a little bit uh, in, in the in-between segments about like the humanization of open source and how like um, a lot of projects are the, the cornerstones of a lot of technology that we use and are highly underappreciated. So never, never underestimate the power of small scale donations. You can, you can show a mm-hmm. project that you care. Um, and yeah, a, a lot of the, a lot of these things just need funding. So having, having a community effort like this is, is very, very good. Good on you, Ryan. You're good. You're a mensch. It is fantastic. You got to understand, like, yeah, I, I know a lot of hesitancy. It's like, hey, man, I'm only kicking five bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. That can make a world a buck because sometimes yes. a dollar is so much more than a dollar. It's not necessarily the dollar itself. It's somebody saying, hey, man, I support what you do. And I like yeah, exactly. your thing. Here's like a dollar a month. It's yeah. <laughs> that can get a motherfucker out of bed. That's what I'm trying to communicate. So like, <laughs> if you got some jingle jangle, man, 
Can't get their way. Ryan does a good job with this, so good on yeah. him. Ryan, no. Ryan, Ryan's the good guy. He's not going to steal your money. No, probably not. Probably not. He, he might steal a little bit. Allegedly, he's stealing a li- li- little bit. Of <laughs> How do I mail um, you a check, Ryan? Give me your. <laughs> give, give me your address. <laughs> I, I, I'm only going to do an exchange in person, Ryan. Yeah. Where, where can I meet you? Uh, Heroic 2.0 is out. Yes, a thing. Uh, it is uh, with better Windows support. Um, oh, God, I'm going to butcher this. This is Heroic Rorona Zora. Roronoa. Oh, God. Every I just hear Roro every, every time I read, so, so I, I know I know what it is. It's 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 the One Piece character that has the sword in his mouth. I get that every time I read that name. I just think of coronavirus, and here we are. Um, they they added some new features to this version. Um, you can now select a wine prefix on a per game uh, basis. They've drastically improved the memory usage. Uh, it's using 100 megabytes of RAM under Linux. Double that under Windows. So uh, suck it, buddy. Um, and yeah, they they added. Some a new uh, a new layout, new game page design, uh, a login system. Stores will now auto log you into Epic as well. Uh, new languages and um, yeah. N- now uh, now when you uninstall Dixvix through Heroic, it will actually uninstall Dixvix. Surprise! That's pretty neat. And then nice. uh, one thing they make a note of is Unreal Marketplace is now hidden by default, so you don't have to worry about that shame of all the free games. Is the only reason you went to the Epic Store, but. They've added a wine prefix selection on game installs, which that's yep. handy. You know, like you do this thing there. Did you see anything in it, Pedro, that excited you outside of the Batman Arkham Knight? Not really. Uh, when uh, little Timmy proved to me a proved to be a uh, massive hypocrite, I kind of deleted my um, Epic Games account, and sure. it's still deleted. So, yeah, no, what surprises right. me is the. Um, there's uh, the Epic Store is so bad on Windows that there's actually a third party client for it. That's the the, the launcher, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it just needs more blinky shit. I don't know, Pedro. What is your hot take on spins wheel RGB? <laughs> I'm completely neutral to RGB. I really don't mind it one way or another. Uh, sometimes if I'm taking a picture off my desk, I'll put the, uh, that was a joke, the keyboard. Keep going power through. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll put the keyboard in like rainbow puke because it's fun. Uh, and yeah, then it'll go back to just being red like it is now. Uh, so yeah, it, but is if you really a like your keyboard with RGB, no yes, problem. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Raz- Raz- Razor makes it. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true or not, but go go prove me wrong. Please. Razor probably makes one, yeah, or two. But yeah, there's many, 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 many. Like, many. I was like, well, I could put it in, like the the like flashy like chase people around with it. Pretty frightening. <laughs> yes, you just got a blast sandstorm whenever you do it. <laughs> but if you have multiple end devices up with a that have up rave outside, man, I'm like, no, <laughs> Burning Man, go away. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Yeah, if you have multiple devices that have RGBs and you'd like the one place to control them, well, uh, instead of risking malware like you do on Windows, you can use OpenRGB, which is also compatible with Windows. But this one and is the Flatpak version. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, the Flatpak version... It- effectively should give you the same things. Uh, I did pose the question in the show. It's like, okay, this for stuff like the Ram sticks that have those RGB bars at the top, you need some fairly low level access to actually get to those RGBs. You need like, how are you going to help if you have blinky Ram? Jeez. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, and then Jordan's like, okay, do you need to run, uh, open RGBS route? It's like, not if so, you set the UDEV rules correctly. So, ah, right. Okay. Yeah. The, this, cool. this actually, <laughs> this actually sent me down a bit of a rabbit hole. Cause I was, I wasn't hundred percent sure. I, I asked Pedro like, yeah, well, I mean, do you, do you need to run open RGBS route? So I go to the, I, what I should have done in the first place is, is go to the open RGB documentation and check on my goddamn self. And yes, you do. You have to actually set some pretty loose permissions in order to use mm-hmm. open RGB as non root, but container hardware ac- or container access to hardware is a thing. As long as the bus is exposed, uh, which as far as I can tell it is, it should be fine. Uh, I haven't found anything specifically about mapping the dev directory, which I assume is where all that stuff is exposed, but you know, maybe someone who knows can send us some hate mail and uh, tell me about it. But yeah, simplifying setup for blinky stuff is a net good. You know, if you're, if you're on the fence about um, Linux usage and the, um, and those uh, Linus videos haven't convinced you one way or another, you know, 
you don't have to give up your blinky shit if you want to move to Linux. People don't like to give up their blinky stuff. And so here's a cool way to control does anybody, this. Yeah, here, quality here, of life. Here's like the real ask, though. I mean, does does anybody, because Pedro, you get you get a bunch of shit that blinks. Um, does uh, the keyboard and the mouse? Comparatively, Pedro Matias, neither of them are supported that by blinks. Comparatively, I don't have anything that blinks. <laughs> yes, comparatively. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what do people do? Do you? Because it, it seems like you will see the videos and stuff like that on Reddit, and like it, it is just like uh, an LSD Christmas tree up in their house. You don't leave it like that on a day in day out, do you? I don't. Would you? But there are people who do. <laughs> I, I mean, I would absolutely turn it on and forget to shut it off, and then leave it on all. Would day. you just like this is my life now? Like, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, but I am, I am absolutely one of these people. There's like, there's a pile of rusty nails on the floor. I could sweep them up or I could just walk around. Them. I just want to walk into like around. Jordan Jordan's room and there's like just taped up the side of the uh, case. You're like, what? what? No, no reason. Get I was, li- dude, I was, li- I was living that life. I have a pretty high tolerance for like busted shit. So <laughs> you could just see some, yeah, yeah I know. Uh, RGB <laughs> leaking out of the side. You're like, it's fine. Fine, man. Dude, if I have some RGB leaks happening, I think I have, I think I should uh, call in a nuclear inspector or something. I Quite don't know. possibly. Quite possibly. OBS Studio, though. Man, RGBs are the only thing getting flat this week. 27.2 beta 2, because it was beta 1, but they had to go back and like fix a couple of things. But we've talked about, I've talked about this. Uh, they've added support for the AGA source. Uh, this is kind of a big deal because, you know, I've talked about Black Magic, Magewell, Capture cards, AJA. You're like, I've never heard of them. Go to the website and look at their cheapest card. And you're like, that's why I haven't heard of them. Exactly. Maybe <laughs> some broadcast, like serious stuff. That's in there. Go test that. They've added AOM. That's AV1 and uh, SVT AV1 encoders. They're experimental. You can play around with them. And this, this is the new and hot, the new hotness. I want to encode something with this and feed it to YouTube and see if it'll just take it like it used to, like when WebM was a thing. Cause you could, this, this is the uh, YouTube native, native format. Yeah. That's the new newness. It's a, uh, what is a mm. VP nine is what you get. But if they really like you, you'll get the AV one treatment. Now pretty much mm. everyone can get the uh, VP nine treatment. So that's pretty dope. I'm glad to see that. A couple other things. There's been an update to uh Chromium CF version bump, the built in web browser. And, uh, is the browser uh, source working now? I know, I know, I know that's been a problem. No, since like uh, when it there, 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 there's the, there's the problem we were talking about it a couple weeks ago, where the builds for the uh, Linux browser plugin was fucking up because of some CEF uh, issue. It was a CF CEF version that was last week. There was an issue, but that wasn't with the um, that was not with the current stable. That was with okay. the upcoming okay. stuff, and okay. this is yeah. one of the right. things that. Okay. <laughs> that got addressed. This is this has been fixed. But something I wanted to talk about is uh, flatback support. OBS. This is, went from like you brave, twisted individual. I had see the uh, guy working on it <laughs> in the uh, OBS Discord, and here we are. It's going to be a real boy as long as this shakes out. There's still some last minute tweaks and things like that going on. But you might not want to install this because you know if you're like one of the like what three possibly four percent of users who have an nvidia card you know small little upstart company not everybody's got a nvidia card these days but uh it's just not gonna work <laughs> it's not apparently they have a fix oh there's a fix and it's some roundabout bullshit um <laughs> and i don't get to say this very often but kwin already had the workaround in place for this <laughs> it's like oh kd is doing something right that's odd <laughs> and e- even with the fix, there's a little bit of a memory leak. So uh, I'm just saying you might want to might want to avoid it because uh, as soon as you start capturing anything with the X composite, uh, after about on a thread ripper on my little 1920X, uh, after about three minutes, it starts chewing up to about 50% CPU, and the memory leak is just keeps on X, and everything gets down to about 33, 34 frames per second. So hold off on that. Um, well. Hopefully beta two, three, or four will, uh, will fix that for sure. Oh yeah. I mean, there's a couple of batches yeah. I'm running right now. Um, basically that I'm a couple of commits behind because, because I wanted to play around with something else and that's Jim or new NVing. 
What's NV Ink? Jordan, you've heard about it. Damn it, Jim. Uh, NV Encoder, <laughs> it's a special region of silicon on most of your uh, NVIDIA GPUs these days that will allow you to encode stuff directly from, I think it's the uh, front buffer. I could be wrong, but either, either way, the idea is it is a separate coprocessor on the GPU specifically for recording and coding uh, video from the thing that you're playing over the video card. Um, and, uh, there was an old version and there's a new version now that is supposed to be much better in terms of CPU util- utilization mm-hmm. and quality. I think that's the, those are the two metrics that they uh, jacked up for the, uh, for the new release. Well, the big one the is, is, uh, windows ever since the release of Turing, that was one of the announcements for windows anyway, then, but NVIDIA is like, no, it's going to be for windows. It's going to be for Linux. And, you know, two years later, like NVIDIA, I'm like, what? You didn't say that. Get the fuck off. Uh, the, the way it works, man, uh, the fall by Regular NV encode, what we use on Linux right now, this is all that's just available to us. And, you know, unless you're playing around with this particular build, uh, uh, Linux copies the rendered frames back to the system RAM, then copies them again to an FFmpeg AV frame, then makes FFmpeg upload that back to the GPU. It takes a lot of CPU time. It's not the fastest, and it's a little bit system intensive. New NV, NV encode skips that. So... It's just encoding the textures directly without copying over to system RAM, saving some time. So if and when this starts working, but there's some movement been going on. Uh, OpenGL Freak is uh, tinkering with this. And saying, oh, I got it to a working state, to which I, I, I went to try it. And, you know, lo and behold, you know, I did some A-B testing, Debian 11, 2060, try everything. Um, the video records fine, but CPU usage has remained around 2%. According to OBS, same as regular NV. Uh, that said, doesn't appear to break anything, which is something I look for in anything. Um, <laughs> however, uh, Wizard CM is on the OBS team. He, he tried it with his 3080, to which I'll just say, I'm jelly that you have a 3080. Uh, apparently, it's still falling <laughs> back to regular NV encode, so that's probably it's an issue with the NV12 texture support not being available. So maybe that's why I didn't see any difference. I was just looking for uh, everything to work. Everything seems to work. I mean, so it's not a terrible issue. But if you have an underpowered system, what you're looking at is like something like an Intel laptop, something like that. The potential savings about 10 to 15 percent overhead on your CPU. And that could make and break your ability to stream. So this is something to keep an eye on. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> this, 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 especially if you're one of those lucky people who's got a brand spanking new 1650 Ti, you know, the most popular. Or video you card. got one of those laptops with the new 3050, which I kind of want one. <laughs> now, Pedro wants nice. a laptop? Shock. No, here's the thing. I was going to... Can you get an external Thunderbolt dock with a PCI slot? That's an excellent question. For some money, I, yes. <laughs> I, I, I I'm, want, I'm I, sure one exists on AliExpress. I, I definitely want like a high-end uh, system running like a Voodoo 3. Yeah. Just, no, just like just regular ass PCI over Thunderbolt. Yeah. <laughs> I, Not the, even the, the, the thing about the Voodoo is, is the price. Because whew, it's like 150 pounds for a Voodoo 3 in 2022 oh, baby, they, they now. Were about 350 pounds when they were new. So, uh, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're PCI cards. They're not supposed to be that expensive so, anymore. No. Oh, have, have, oh have no. We, you dial we... that back. The AGP ones are not that expensive because those were the ones that were mass produced. Even in the day, Pedro, when they were being made, the PCI ones were mm-hmm. the fucking specialty ones. You know, like you had to our, our... hunt to find one of those. Are we at the point right now where availability of new GPUs is so bad yes. that now we're competing over this, this, acquiring old this GPUs? Is a, a solution that I'd like to propose from your fine friends at Linux Gamecast is external <laughs> Thunderbolt PCI docs. So we can repurpose. Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they exist because I remember seeing them. <laughs> like the they had the little ribbon cable that you'd plug into like a buy one PCIe. Uh, uh, it's just the actual Thunderbolt connection that... Mm. No, it's, I, I want this thing to work on Mac, too. We gotta be cross-platform. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe Hector yeah, maybe. can do something about it. I don't know. <laughs> can you imagine Coming. just sending him that and be like, hey, man, I <laughs> yes, got an idea. Get, 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 yeah, get the, yo, Mark, yeah, get this shit working. <laughs> like, who are you and what are you doing at my house? Coming up next, uh, we're throwing chairs at Pedal Crash, a game that you cannot exit. 
Welcome back to the Acquisition. It's the first one of 2022, and this week we're taking a look at a game that uh, a fan gave us. Uh, Sildat gave us some copies of this last year. Um, we're taking a look at Pedal Crash, uh, developed by Friend and Fairy on the Chowdron engine. It's Contra Strike 2 base. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks. What is it? Crash blocks together into huge chain reactions in this frantic arcade action puzzler. Pick your favorite character and experience their tale in story mode. Solve tricky brain teasers and make your own in puzzle mode. Shoot for high scores and solo play or go head to head in versus mode. So, Chair Acquisition, you may not know what it is. That's where we take a game that runs on Linux, usually native, sometimes if it's on the Proton whitelist, uh, run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions on a bunch of different Dish and Burst on a bunch of different hardware. And uh, tell you. T- tell you what we think about it on our highly scientific, dem- divinely ordained <laughs> lawn chair metric system. It is the most peer reviewed system in history. Scientists have called it. Please stop calling me. I'm trying to sleep. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, Ven, how did you have this uh, run on Debian? Runs like a champ, this graphical juggernaut over here on Debian 11 with a 2060, 32 gigs of RAM, nice little baby 1920X thread ripping system of nonsense. I don't know how to quit you. I mean this game, because <laughs> fuck all of you again. <laughs> I was not alone in discovering that there. this game, once you've opened it, you're permanently trapped. It will forever run on your system. There, there's no way to exit the game outside of a Vulcan nerve pinch. The Alt F4 slam to pay respects, but that's not going to kill it. Uh uh-uh, uh, it just keeps on powering its way through. This, is, this thing is practically Duncan McLeod, the game. But there's also no full screen. So be prepared to hit Alt Enter, grab your control, and when you're done with that, put your controller down, grab your keyboard again to Alt 4, then go into Steam and click the stop button. That is the correct launch and closing procedure for this particular game. Now, on top of all that, did anybody else go like, what's up with this menu navigation? Like, not, like B, everything's enter on the gamepad. Like, B traditionally Ex- is... Except s- sometimes when it's <laughs> B is cancel, yeah. Sometimes. Most of the time, so- B works just like going forward. And that, that took me a minute. I'm like, why can't I get into... Oh, that's why it's doing that. But take a look at it. It's got a SNES vibe. Graphics and sound, same. That's all right. I don't mind the way it looks. Uh, online connectivity. I was happy to see that, but unfortunately, I went in there. I It was me. I didn't have time to ring up Jordan or Pedro and be like, hey, you want to be the other person? But it is available. But what do we got? All right. We were talking about this during the break. Let's talk about if it's fun because, you know, I really, I mean this Thank you for letting me skip the dialogue because it's a little cringy for me. A little too cutesy. It was causing me a little bit of pain. I like it when you do that because I want to get to the game. And the developers realize that. Like, hey, man, some people just want to play this game. But why are you playing in story mode? I'm like, well, I kind of want to get an idea how that works, but I don't want to sit through it. Plus, you'd have to sit through that each time you did a run. Now, as far as the game, how do I put this? It requires you to just get your laser-focused full attention and... That's because you're going to be hammering whatever device you have. For me, it was the D-pad on the Xbox One XS controller. You're just, 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 just trying to win. I played action platformers that required less input to play. But you know what? It's not a bad thing because, as I said, it keeps you laser focused on the game at hand, which is good. I was very much engaged with this. Now, that said, I have a suspicion I would fuck this game all kinds up if I had a touchpad. I would just being able to swipe back forward left and yeah. Cause a lot of that clicking is trying to get your cursor or whatever you might be using with your gamepad. If you're using the mouse, it's probably a little quicker, but it's a rough deal on the gamepad. Now I got to imagine, I'm sure I'll be corrected on this. This is like a Pokemon battle, but in real time, but with blocks and a little bit of psychic foresight with what blocks might show up. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I say imagine, cause I don't know fuck all about Pokemon, but I'm assuming something along those lines. And then Airwolf shows up and mayonnaise, but the only way I can put it is like this. I mean, you match the blocks, you get the colors, and things disappear, and eventually something happens at the bottom of the screen, and the game says you either won or lost, which is good. I, you, tunnel vision. I don't even see any of that stuff when I'm playing. But yeah, uh, if you like chess, stay away from Pedal Crash. If you like speed chess, maybe give it a look. Sorry I ran over time. I just realized that it was going blam. Uh, blam. Yeah. I'm going to give it. <laughs> Too, because I mean it works you know what yeah I'm still gonna give it to but man barely barely I who who who'd you pick I actually picked uh, this the uh, eye patch chick uh, uh, so yeah, yeah. The, that that's called the one that the cursor was on Pedro I'll tell you. ah yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I picked the lady with the glasses because, oh, hey, she has glasses. I wear glasses. Yeah. There you go. I, I, I picked her because she was the, less, <laughs> the least dorky one. Anyways, on Fedora 35, 64-bit with the R93900X GTX 1080 Ti, it launches. Controller works out of the box. The options are quite scant. You get your drag your window resolutions. You got to alt-enter for windowed mode. Alt-F4 to pay respects because, like Ven said, there is no escape. I didn't actually run into the zombie process thing. It exited when I exited the game, so I don't know. The soundtrack is very tinkly. There's a lot of, like, tinkles. I don't know how else to describe it. It makes me need to pee a lot. Um, that full screen <laughs> pixel text is borderline unreadable full screen at a UHD monitor, which is why I ultimately skipped the story. I tried to read it, but my God, it just like was very offensive to my eyes. Fun wise slide similarly colored blocks to line them up, slide a similarly colored block directly into them to fire away and the game. Oh, it just wants you to make big combos. I'm not at that point just yet. I'm in little combo mode, which is apparently just enough to get you through the easy campaign. I'm also not sure what the specific PvP mechanisms are, because I know, like, uh, Super Puzzle Fighters, solving the puzzles in specific ways will cause obstacles for your opponent, and that's how you can fuck with them. I also don't know how you actually deal damage to them. I think eventually your bar fills up, and once that does, it does damage. I I don't know. Yes. But so here's here's the thing. There's a decent amount of modes in the game for in addition to network PvP, so you get a decent amount of game for your uh, $10 US. The puzzle mode stuff is okay. I spend about 30 minutes with it. It's mostly about teaching you to see the combos as they appear and, like, get getting you into that headspace, which might get you a little better at the PvP stuff. I'm sure the fact that it implements rollback net, uh, roll net code makes it pretty popular for those super puzzle fighter fans who are really, really hardcore about their block pushing. For me, it's, it's just kind of okay. I Yeah, I'm, like Ven, I was a little too tunnel visioned on my own side. I'm going to give it two chairs. It's, it's all right. Maybe, maybe it's not my thing. Maybe it's your thing. Boy, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> And over here on the uh, Ryzen 3700X with the GTX 1080, uh, it launched out of the box. It uh, seems to do only do 60 FPS, as you can see from the little FPS counter. If you're looking at the video version, that that's all it can do. Uh, you can, yeah, full screen by uh, hitting Alt-Enter. And uh, there's some other options you can tweak, but not many. It's, um, there's... Yeah, the the only real interesting bit that happens in the options is the, um, I don't know, the, um, hold on, my brain is tied itself in a knot, I don't know why, uh, the, there we go, the input options, uh, it gives you, with each input, uh, you have like three or four different ways that you can set it, with the mouse, for example, you can set, uh, you can either click once and move, uh, and we, uh, you can also do uh, click once and then click again in the direction that you want to go. And for the keyboard, there's also other options. It's like, okay, so there's actually many different ways that you can interact with the game, which is good because comparatively speaking, I've there have been other puzzle games that give you exactly one uh, way to interact with the game. And yeah, uh, if you happen to be incompatible with that particular control scheme, well, tough luck. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the uh, beep boop music. Uh, and no, I didn't play seven and a half hours of this. It didn't shut down and I didn't realize it. And Steam usually tells you when you there's a game that's still running. Uh, this one, it let me start other games just fine. It's like, but why was it? Huh? But hey, uh, it does that. As for the fun, the... Um, there's something about the com competitive aspect of some puzzle games that doesn't do it for me. Uh, so Jump Paula is the example that I'm going to be using here. And it's like here with uh, Pedal Crash, you're required to set up chain reactions. And if uh, you're playing in any other difficulty beyond the starting easy mode that you're forced into. Um, yeah. You have to set up those chain reactions. That is the meta. Kudos. You figured it out. Now use it or lose the game. I don't like that. Same reason I didn't like Jumpala, because the meta there was just right along the bottom as much as you can. And of course, the um, the AI had the advantage there. 
So I don't hate some of the things that this specific game does, especially when it comes to all the control schemes and the options that they give you there. But I don't like the actual game here. So yeah, two chairs. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, that's uh, that's two chairs across the board. I don't think any of us got a chance to actually test out the network multiplayer, so we can't really speak. I went on into whether it. Or not I mean, it, it launched. It did a thing. I mean, it's like a little pop up option. Like, hey, you want to play multiplayer? And I did, and no one was there to play with me. Yeah, yeah. We we, we haven't established <laughs> if anyone can actually connect to one yeah. another, though. Um, I mean, it so, doesn't yeah, uh, matter unless you buy another copy for somebody else to play because there's no one to play against. I mean, that's what the Soldat did. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he bought us all copies. Like, you know, you all get the best achievements, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I you have... get to see the credits because I went through the campaign like on easy. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really short. It's like, 30, it's like thirty minutes, and you do get to play yeah. through the credits, which is a nice little touch. I like when games give you a thing to dick around with while you're watching the credits. Oh yeah, you no, know, we do want to put it. I mean, you, you, <laughs> this is like a you do runs of this. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you do one run with each character uh, and then all get all the difficulties and get all the things. If, that was made yeah. apparent to me after I beat like three or four and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm taking a break. And I came back and I'm like, oh, that's how this works. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, if, if you like a super puzzle fighter or any of that stuff, this might just be your jam. Coming up next, I show you my cakes, baby. They're very moist. Hey, and for the f- hi, hi, hello. <laughs> for the Welcome. first time in 2022, I cock up the intro this to is the Pedro hate mail. I, hey. I just say, "Hey, Pedro, how's it going?" It looks at me like something's up. I'm like, I'm just, well, you, I don't you know, know. You like, you and like, just as I started talking, on. and I didn't get anything of what you said. So it's like, uh, what? Hi, <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes, it is the hate mail. This is the segment in the show. What we um. Well, address the concerns that you raise with us, and there's bound to be plenty of that. Uh, If you'd like to get in touch with us, the best way to do it is to, well, let's not go down there. Let's just go to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button. There's a forum there. Some caveats you got to read at the top. Well, you don't have to read them, but then if you try to send us a thing and it doesn't let you, that's on you. So, yeah, uh, it just sends a message there. LGC Weekly is a show that you want to send your hate mail to. Otherwise, uh, you can ask uh, Ven and Jill for uh, or send some feedback for Ven and Jill on the Wednesdays or ask Jordan for relationship advice. It is um, it, it's a thing. So last week. <laughs> we were talking about hoe cakes. Hoe cakes. That's right. That's <laughs> what this was about. Okay. <laughs> It's, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. This, this, this is from Rob, and it says, uh, Good day, guys. It's from Stoke on Trent, England. Oat cakes are amazing with breakfast. We learned that oh, uh, hoe cakes are actually just oat cakes. There's no way to this. Okay, I learned <laughs> that. I learned that hoe cakes are actually oat cakes. I had a panic and not, and we, not, we were like straight up at the show, right? Like it wasn't pre-show, post-show. It was, I brought up hoe cakes for some fucking reason. And Jordan's like, whoop, nope, nope, nope. I'm like, oh shit. What if they turned the word hoe cakes into God damn it, internet? What have you? Oh, no. Uh-uh. First result. <laughs> no, I, I mean, when, in, in, a, in a regular context, when you say the word hoe cake, like you're going to make it, you're going to jump to a conclusion. I mean, I've never tried to use hoe cake as a verb. No. You should. <laughs> I, I think we're really going to hoe cake this. I mean, I live here, news, so I, I, I see the oat cakes for sale. So, uh. <laughs> have, have you eaten one, Pedro? Have you eaten an oat cake? Not really. No. I'm not much of a you, cake person. Well, here's your homework for next week. Go eat an oat cake. <laughs> Tell us, give, give us your review. Maybe, maybe Pedro would be happier if somebody would lease him a oat cake. There's already a lot of like a leasing service. <laughs> like like oh, oh, cake as a service. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cakes as a service. Uh, I I already uh, get my meals me as a service. Eight, eight cakes as a service. My God, I'm, I die. <laughs> but I, I really die. don't want GPUs as a service. No, no. Though Jason apparently is like, the Nvidia shortage is fake. Jensen, uh, uh, okay, the interesting. Per, um, Spelling of his Adam, name. Yeah, you, you know, Adam uh, wants Jensen all from you DSX. to buy GeForce Now memberships. Change my mind. I don't this, know this who Jen's son right? is. <laughs> hmm? It's it's Jen's son. 
Oh, it's you the know, son Gen- of Jen. Okay. Oh, it, right. Yeah. You, you, that's his pet name for the coat. <laughs> I just no, no, made no, that it, up. It, Please don't tell me son. it is. I do not want an email from Jen. No, 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 like, no, no, How no, did you no, no. know? No, Jen, Jen's son is actually the biological son of the coat. Named Jen. So Jensen <laughs> is Jen's son. Have either of you even messed around with that? The That's the streamy thing, right? Yeah, the yes, GeForce Now. Yes, the NVIDIA streamy no, thing. You, you, gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta pay for it. Effectively right? a virtual they machine a that you can just play whatever. Question yes, mark? that you're limited to one hour at a time and then you gotta log in again. That seems like self-regulation. It is. It does a very you good know, job you know, on I, it, too. I, I, I remember Strider talking about it. He was saying that it was working reasonably well. Um, he's a, he's in Discord right now, typing furiously. So I may or may not be proven correct. <laughs> no, we, 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 we're, I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat. Come oh. on, Strider, type faster. <laughs> so uh, uh, no, mm, no, I don't is- think pe- that would be why they were j- actively shorting the uh, GPU supply. Again, to bring it back to the point, we're not the customer. And really gives a fuck yeah. about me, yeah. you. But no, no, no. They got higher profit margin. They got a different customer yeah. right now. And uh, when we, yeah, when we can start affording <laughs> hydroelectric power plants, then they'll start caring. About they us. they are doing the until then. time honored traditional thing for a soulless corporation is focus immediately on short term profits. And we'll just deal with the rest mm-hmm. later when yep. that happens. Absolutely. <laughs> Would you? Oh, <laughs> hang on. ROI. Was OK. Now I got a Google. Wasn't there a service that allowed you to like lease GPUs? Was it? Le- uh, you could wasn't lease it like them you lease the uh, computer. For- no, or- no, this is one that would just uh, allow you to lease a video card. I want to see if Google's gonna like, like they uh, they, they, they they physically ship physically? you the video card mm-hmm. and you like make a monthly payment. Okay, all right. Um, and no, it's like, not fine. Uh, I I know like a lot. Are of you allowed to keep it once you that. pay enough to cover the price? Yeah, is, 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 is it is it rent to own or? Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe I just accidentally stumbled on a fantastic business idea. Like, can't can't afford. I mean, it. at this point in time, yeah. so, this so, is what, so I'm what you're saying. What you're saying is we need to buy up all the Intel GPUs and then lease them to people. No, no, no. People will be able to buy those. Like, oh, you want a thirty eighty, but you can't. Okay, until the shortage is over, we'll lease you one. So for twenty five dollars a month. <laughs> I'll, I'll see. I'll that's the enough NFT that people will actually do it. Is. Yeah. See, I was thinking about like target prices. Like, shit, I'd probably give somebody twenty five dollars yeah, a month to borrow and, anything uh, below like thirty bucks a month. Yeah, so, that that would get a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. Just an idea. Don't run with it, anyone. Or if you do, uh, I do, hope- do the de snapping thing first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alien for snaps <laughs> alien for snaps <laughs> yeah oh man Give, I, I want that first please oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it that no mm-mm, mm-mm. we're just gonna end on that that's a perfect time to cue the music hey thanks for sticking around watching the whole thing live if you do if you don't after the fact this is the primarily the audio podcast but we do the video because we like hanging out with everyone man and um uh, pretty decent if you want to get in touch with me i'm just at vin stone on twitter i'm doing the thing there um if you see something send me a message or whatever at vin if you like the mastodon thing we do have one of those over at mass.linuxgamecast.com i posted a picture of my bitching umbrella up on that one <laughs> i'm jordan swung and i am chock full of bad ideas you can hear them at twitter at the burning fool or uh twitch.tv slash burning fool and you can always catch me on Twitter when I do post something, which lately hasn't been very much at all, but I'm there. If you shout at me, I will shout back at you. That's kind of how it goes at and accounted for. That's the, uh, that's the way to do it. Mm. <laughs> and remember, um, one thing to take away from this episode, the uh, creator of Lutris has just accused AMD of not existing. Confirm. It's some solipsist shit. <laughs> Descartes, eat your hearts out. <laughs> Multiple hearts. He's got two. <laughs> AMD's bad. It's the mad. It's the smoke screen. It's all. It's NVIDIA all the way down. It's the smoke monster from Lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's the it's real that reason. That never got explained. Yeah, yeah, it's the NVIDIA shortage. <laughs> they they saw it coming. Man, am oh, I doing man. Lost rewatch? Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, just make your own conspiracy hey, theories. Big thanks just to all the patrons. We get yeah. our advisors, Omegas, Omegas or Theron. You get all the easy ones, man. Come on, let me take yep. a shot at it. Aldi, right, Barbaran, Scott N, <laughs> Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, Mike G, MT, Drummers Heaven, and Kohanku for our executive producers, along with Chicago Kicks Ass, Dark Wing, Abstraction, and some sea monsters like Jack B, Renault L, Ryder X, Machina, Trugi Vera, Justin Frostclaw. And Look Strider. at these death notes. Check them off your list. It's Nova K, Basil B, Chad B, Romeo V, Marson K, System T, Craig H, Renee K, Leonardo C, Kresny, Kim, Smash the G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2 Wad, Steve B, Dirty Dean, Back Gameotron, Dodger, Xanthrius Gaming, and Rue. <laughs> and of course, all the chairlings like Evandro and Jolly M and Daniel and Vascat and uh, Door to Door Geek. Still there. Hey, hey. And KR Ducky and X Elmo. Sorry, uh, I ruined your podcast store. Pebble and Jim. You're uh, all truly, truly wonderful. Too many of Look, you to actually read out on stream. Wave, wave we, bye bye to the here fuckos. The whole time. We'll see you next bye. week. Bye bye. <laughs> five dudes. <laughs>